What's going on guys? We are here at Jackson Lake Park and behind me is the town of Spectre from the movie The Big Fish. That's right, you can actually camp right next to this movie set, right on the side of it. You can camp anywhere around here, just not on the set. But right to the side, on back on the main island, all that stuff, you can camp all around here, which is awesome. So if you didn't know it, we are a full-time travel family. My wife is a travel nurse, and that has allowed us to explore the country and see some fantastic things just like this. Now, there is a lot more places to this filming location as far as the movie The Big Fish goes. Today, I'm just focusing on this because we stayed here. We spent two nights here, camped out, and I wanted to come see the town of Spectre, and I'm gonna share my experience with you guys today. But before we jump into the town, I'm gonna do a little drive around and show you what this place looks like so if you're thinking of camping here if you're just stopping by want to check out the movie set you can uh, see what to expect when you get here so let's go take that drive around and look at the camping spots and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna go into the town and go check some stuff out see if we can line up some shots from the movie and just explore and see what's left of the buildings because it is January 2nd 2023 let's compare what it looks like today versus back when the movie was made here we go all right, so when you pull up, this is what you're gonna see. They got the little shack over here where you go pay your money. I'll show you that. They got this little gate here. You gotta get a code for that. But it says right here, welcome to Jackson Lake Island, home of the big fish. And then right over here, they got the little shack here where you pay. You come and you get one of these little cards here. You fill it out with your vehicle information and then you go ahead and you drop it in the box here with your cash. They do have a credit card machine. It is $35 to camp here per night, just a flat fee, no taxes, no nothing like that. All right, so our first little spot we got up here is on the right here, but these guys over here to the right, these are full timers. Now where we're at is down here on the very end, this last spot down here. So as you can see, I got my spot here, right here on the edge, which is nice because then we had all the grass, which is nice for the dogs and stuff. And then right down here is the water. Now I'm gonna take you guys down across this. Now, just so you know, if you wanna stay on the island, you can. You can stay right by Spectre, which is cool, but they don't allow it if you have animals. Well, at least dogs or bigger dogs. He did ask me if we had pets, because originally when he told me we could stay on the island, I said, yes, I wanna stay on the island, that'd be awesome. Then he asked if I had dogs, and I told him yes, and he goes, ugh. He goes, well, you'll have to stay over here on the main spot because they have goats. They have free roaming goats, which you'll see here in just a little bit. But anyways, full-time spots over here. You may get a spot over here. Um, and they may have other things that I haven't seen yet. Um, but let's go check it out. All right, now we're driving off the main part here. And we're gonna drive across this little levee. I'm not sure what you call these things. It's not a bridge. <laughs> So you can see over to the right here, I saw a bunch of people parking over here yesterday and then just walking down, going fishing along the banks here and then over towards the left over here. Not as many people today. Uh, it's early in the morning though, but right over here is where I saw people parked and uh, they had their trailers with their little boats and things like that. Jackson Lake Island. This is the home of Spectre. So as you get up to the top here, there's two signs. One points to the right to the restrooms, and you go left, which is the way we're gonna go, and it takes you to the town of Spectre. And as you can see right over there through those trees, there's that little town. Careful, please yield to goats. <laughs> Careful, goat crossing. Oh, and there they are. Look at those little guys. Here is all those goats. Now we'll just have to see if they move for me or not. Hey guys. Hey. Hi there. Hi. Look at those little guys. Hi, don't don't go under my tires, okay? Okay, I think we, we made it past the goats. But check this out, they got some benches over here. You can just have a nice little view. Got these campers over here on the left here. There's all those goats again. All right, let's finish the tour. And then we drive around. I know they got some tent, tent spots over here because we saw some tent campers over this way little fire pits over there got more of those swings out there got a couple spots for tents maybe little trailers down this way now off to our right um, i did see some people as well with a little trailer up there you might see part of the movie set over there off to the left that is where one of the houses was which we'll get more into that a little bit a little bit further on just wanted to give you guys a little drive around so you can see what the campground looks like if you're in the area and need a place to camp, passing through, traveling like us and need a good spot. But this is like the scenic loop that loops around 
the campground. They don't have a website. I found it and I, they have a Facebook page. So I instant messaged them on Facebook, asked them um, if they did reservations, how much it was. And within about two hours, I got a response. Um, just said no reservations. It's first come first serve and um, it's $35 a night. So I said, okay, well, thanks. All right, well, that was a quick little review of the campground to show you guys what you're looking at if you decide you wanna come here. Well, here we are over at, back at the town of Spectre. All right, and they got this little spot right here. If you just wanna drive in for the day or you wanna come check out the movie set, here it is. Here's a little sign about it right here too, and it talks about the town and the dark forest. All right, guys, we're right behind me. Here it is, this is the town of Spectre. So let's go ahead and walk in. I'm going to see if I can line up some shots from the movie and show you guys what it looks like present day. This is January 2nd, 2023. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm on the other side of the trees now, but I just wanted to point out real quick that on this side of the trees right here, this is where they had the dark forest. This is where the dark forest was, and I guess it was up for quite a while, but then they were having problems with it and stuff was falling over and things like that, but right out in here is where that dark forest was. These two trees are the only things left from the movie, and these trees, they're like made out of styrofoam. It's all styrofoam and stuff right there, how they made these. But this is the only thing left as far as the forest or trees or things like that from the movie. Just these two right here. If you want to check that out, I'd recommend go watch an Adam the Woo's video. He came here about 10 years ago. And the cool thing is, is in his video, after they got done recording here, they just kind of left it. They walked away. So in his video, you get to see the buildings and they're all overgrown. The brush is so high. The dark forest is right behind me. It's all here. He gets to go explore through it and stuff. I was really hoping to see that, but it's gone. Anyways, but check his video out if you want to see what this looked like with the dark forest and what the buildings looked like before they kind of cleaned it up to get it to what it is today. So when people come and visit, they can see what they see today. We got the poles up here with the shoes on it. And I would say it's getting pretty heavy. Hopefully that rope doesn't break. But look at that, but then here, check this out. Welcome to Spectre. Right? As he's walking in, he also walks past this building right here. Let's take a look and see what's what's going on with this building. You can see the foundations and stuff are getting pretty, pretty rotten. I'm gonna be careful coming up here. Here's the inside of this building. Just an empty building here. And then directly across is the building where they had the guy playing the banjo on the porch. Let's go check that out as well. I'm looking through the, the window here. Same thing, nothing really inside there. It's just an empty shell. But how cool is this? I'm standing on the porch where the guy was playing the banjo. And then right over here next to this building where this field is, this is where the store was. This is where the mayor came out and started talking to him. And then you can see this building right over his shoulder right. What's your name? Edward Bloom. Bloom like a flower? Yes. Oh, here. Here you are right here. Edward Bloom. Life will do that to you. And truthfully, the long way is easier. All right, and something really cool I just found out. The owner came by and I was talking to him and behind me where the empty lots are, where the buildings were, the storefronts, like the general store and all that stuff on both sides, both of them had the storefronts. He said that those were just facades. Those weren't even closed in all the way, the buildings. They were just like sides in a front. And what had happened is over time, the walls started leaning in. 
and then he just ended up taking his bulldozer and pushing him down because at the time he didn't know anybody was going to be interested in coming here and seeing all this stuff like they are now so back then he thought well i'll just get rid of those because they're falling over i don't want any issues and uh, so that's what happened i thought maybe they vandalized burnt down something like that but apparently they were just leaning too much and they didn't have the support of all these other buildings so they were just falling over so he pushed them over and that was that and then he was just telling me about the dark forest said it took him about three months to get that all cleaned up back there and same thing he did that for hazard reasons because a lot of the trees and stuff they put up they were styrofoam they had metal in them and they were starting to fall over and all that kind of stuff and so he had to clean up and plow that stuff and but now that he's got the place all cleaned up nice uh you know people are coming and he's he he wanted me to mention this as a park. It's not necessarily a campground, but you can camp here. You can dry camp. He said you can camp anywhere around here except directly on this movie set right here. So all the outskirts, everything around on the edges and stuff, they have full hookups over here on the side where we saw these campers over here. But everywhere else around here, you can just pull over anywhere you want with your trailer, dry camp, a tent, set up a tent, whatever you want to do. So man, really nice guy, great place to come here and check out. So. It's cool, I like running into people that, uh, the owners and people like that, so they can give me a little bit of history, a little bit of info on it. So, pretty cool to see. All right, well, let's sign up a couple more things here. Well, first, while we're here, let's go check out this building and see. The goats are eating away at it. Might wanna come soon if you wanna see what's going on here. All right, here's inside this building. Again, just a shell. So they must not have used this interior for filming at all. It's just a shell to see someone come out of the doorway. Got a little porch over here. Same thing. And then that's the governor's house right there. We are gonna go check that out because there was some sh scenes shot in there. I haven't looked in it yet, so I'm not sure what's inside, but let's go take a peek. Now I had, I had heard before that they, it was open and you could go inside these buildings, but probably because of the deterioration and falling apart, they made them so you can't go inside now. Well, this is the governor's house here, or mayor's house. Sorry, not governor, mayor's house. Oh, it even says it on the door, mayor's house. Let's see what we can see. I saw the fireplace over here on the side. Let's go take a look at that real quick. So here we are, here's the fireplace, which, the fireplace is just plywood. It's just a plywood, it's not a real fireplace. And then it has this little, you know, the fake bricks that they staple on. Let's see though. Put the camera up, see if we can see anything in the window. Let's see if there's another window I can go in and take a look. All right, here's a little side shot. There's the inside where the fireplace was. There was a table, but they were all sitting in here, eating or drinking. Then they were using their rocking chairs. Yeah, there's the fireplace. You can definitely line up some of these shots in here. I can only get in through this one little spot, but yeah, that's pretty cool to see. All right, side of the mayor's house. It says, caution, buildings and movie set are unsafe. Which I can see that, because they're, they're falling apart. Let's go take a peek over here. Wow, I don't know. There's a beam here. Maybe if I stay right on the beam. Okay, same thing, just a shell, just a shell. And then they just have little platforms for the actors to stand on, I guess, as they come out. Man, I really wish they would have uh, propped up those store buildings that were over there and over to the side a little bit better because then we'd be able to see those today. But that's okay, it's still pretty cool to see all this stuff. And it doesn't show them coming out of the door, but this would be the door right here that uh, the little girl, I think her name was Jenny, came running out, and he comes running out after her, and they're running down this way. Jenny, come back here. Jenny. 
The owner was telling me that about every six months he's got to take shoes down because it gets so packed. He said it's time now to go ahead and do that. And then here we are. This is the church down at the end. Right here, we see this right in the center of town. Gotta watch out for the, uh, the goat poo that's everywhere. Let's see, can we see anything in here? So this is just an empty shell as well, and this is actually the goat's house. It's all open, if you guys can see that in there, it's all open in there, and that's where the goats stay. All right, so there's the front. Go around the side here. There's a window. You guys can see in there a little more. See, it's all open. And this is now the goat's house. It's underneath here. Just plywood and nothing special. Just quick and easy so they can make a filming set. All right, well, I'm gonna walk back. That's kind of it for the main part of the little town of Spectre here. There is one little house, or where the house was, I'm gonna go show you right now, um, which is right around the corner. Let's go check that out. I'll give you guys one more look as we're heading out of Spectre. Actually, you guys wanna go see the backsides? Let's go take a peek at some of the backsides here. Backsides not even finished off, just uh, plywood, particle board. Curious what the back side of this looks like. Oh, look at this, I was noticing in the corner. Because they, this is supposed to be like a log building. You can see here, look at all the plywood that they stapled on the back to hold all these together. So it's meant to look like that, but you can see it's just a bunch of like two by eights or something all put together. And then you can see over here on this side, they're just these little blocks, like all these two by eights all stapled together and stuff. And then they were like nailed to the end here. So it looks like it's a log style cabin. And then same thing on the back here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like a little puzzle piece. They just cut out and slide right on there. All the movie magic. That's right, this was Jenny's house right here, and I heard that actually they built this house. You can see the little pillars, whatever you want to call them out there, that they actually built the house on. And then I heard that they built the structure though on hinges so they could actually like turn the house when it was being pushed over by the giant. They made it so you can actually push the house. So I heard what happened is they left this house as well, but with rising water over the years and stuff, it just, it deteriorated too much and then fell over. And then obviously the owner and stuff cleaned it up to, so it's not a hazard when people come by, but they left the little uh, pillar things in the front from the front of the house. I don't think that's exactly where they were. I think they planted them there so you could see like a good reference of where the house was, but this is it right behind me. This is where Jenny's house was when she was a little older. Oh yeah, and sure as enough, look at this up here. Look at that, you can see the hinges. Right there. So that statement was true that I read, that it was built on hinges. It's even got this little, this little board right here that talks about Jenny's house. There's that scene right there with the giant pushing it over. Right there. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for my video here at the town of Spectre and this great camping area at this lake here. This is a great place to come if you are passing through or if you're a fan of the movie and wanna see what's left of the uh, film set here, come check it out. You can come to Spectre and check it out. You can camp right next to Spectre. How cool is that? All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, follow along, and we are gonna go ahead and head down the road. We got some new destinations to go and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. A man sees things differently at different times in his life. 
this town and see the same values on the road.